Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another video on making a clock face. And you might not ever do it, but you, it might give you some ideas on doing other things in drawing. I've made a lot of clocks in my life, and I've made quite a few videos on how to do this dial. And just the other day, I had to make a new face, and I was using letters to spell out something for somebody that retired from a company. And I'd always rotated the, you know, the numbers and then changed them around. But I, I came up with this, and I think it's pretty good. I'm holding down my control key, and I made a, a line kind of at an angle. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Then I'm going to mirror it. And then I'm going to control G and make a copy of that, or group that together. Now I'm going to put it in the center of the page. I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to press T like Tom and put it to the top of the page. Now just for grins, I can lower that just a little bit. Let's put our nudge factor of 0 0.005. And just barely so slightly lower that. Doesn't really matter. It's your it's your going to be your clock. Then I'm going to take that X and I'm going to double click on it. Or I'm going to make a copy. Control D. Click on it again and get the rotation until it clicks in the center. There we have it. Now I'm going to rotate that 30 degrees. Control D. This time you have to rotate it 60, 60 degrees. And then after that you got Control D and it's round. Now what I would do now is take your face dial and let's, or your shape of your clock and let's, let's change the nudge factor to 15 and let's move this out of the way. Now take all these and control G and group them together. Now let's move our clock back. Now if you have snap to object selected, and there's plenty of videos out there, it's going to snap to the center of that X. And then that way you know your numbers are proportioned out. My number's a little bit too big for the clock, I can already see, um, for example. Or we could move our numbers in, but we could move our numbers just for the video. I'm going to lower them a little bit. I don't want to make them quite that small. But what I did, I just typed out the number, and then I put uh, typed in Control-K, and it broke the all the numbers apart so I can separate them. And I'm not going to probably do all the numbers for the video just so you won't have to listen to me talk. You're kind of getting the idea. And then there's what's going to be, well, I'm, I am going to do all the numbers just so. Tell you what, let's put these a little closer. And uh, I'm going to show you why I group these things together. Sometimes when you click on something too long, you get another tool. But I've got them almost done. Now, two things. Like the number one will probably be the easiest thing to grab, our X. Grab that and hit delete. Whoop. See, I'm, I'm grabbing the circle. So let's put our nudge factor still on 15. Let's just get this out of the way for a minute. Let's click on our X and hit delete. Now we got rid of all of our little hairlines, and we can put that right back. To me, that's the most simplest way to do it I think I've ever found or done. Um, pretty easy. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.